everyone, welcome. This is Amber with The Chirpy Nest, and I hope that you all had a wonderful holiday weekend. Happy 4th of July to you and your families. I hope you got outside and enjoyed the sun and the beautiful weather this weekend while of course being safe. I normally would be posting a daily book recommendation for a special treat. I thought that I would instead share this exciting activity with you all. So, one of my favorite Osborne activity books, this is Under the Sea, Magic Water Painting. And one of the great things about this book is that it gives kids the opportunity to engage in building their creativity while staying focused, and it reduces the amount of mess, which is great for an indoor activity if you have a rainy day. This book comes equipped with this magic paintbrush. So to show you how it works, I'll go ahead and take this paintbrush right out of the package. And every Magic Water paint book, you'll see, comes with a series of black and white designs. And what you'll do is you'll simply dip the paintbrush into the water and paint right between these black and white lines. And you'll magically see the colors start to appear. And here we have an octopus, some fish and sharks and sea turtles and all of our favorite under the sea creatures. And to prevent the water from bleeding through pages, we have this handy flap built right in the back. And what you'll do is when you pick your favorite painting, you'll make sure to put that flap right underneath to prevent that water from seeping through. And then you're ready to go. All right, I would love to paint a picture to show you all how this magic paint brush works. And I'm gonna choose the lobster. All right, let's get started. All you need is to make sure you have your paintbrush and your book ready, that you have the back cover right on top of the ones you don't want the water to seep through. You need a little bit of water and a rag or a napkin to dip your paintbrush in. Okay, I'm gonna wet my paintbrush. I'm gonna dab a little bit of that excess water off. And let's see what happens when we start to color our lobster friend here. <gasps> wow, can you see the lobster turning blue? Look at that. She has a blue antenna. What color do we think the other antenna might be? Now there's no right or wrong way to paint with water. You can do however you like. And again, the skills that we're building here are creativity, we're building focus. This is great for kids who might be feeling stressed or anxious. It gives them an opportunity to kind of slow down and focus on creating something beautiful. Now every time you change areas, you're gonna wanna wet your brush and wipe that off again. Whoa, how beautiful! My lobster is turning red and orange and yellow. And this really is a calming activity, great for all ages. These are one of our best sellers and I have families tell me all the time that this is one of their favorite activities. It's great for a rainy day or you can even take this outside on the porch or in the backyard if you have a nice sunny day and you want to be outside while still being creative.
voila!